going on everybody welcome back to the channel today we are going to be finishing up the skid plate the very last video we finally got the sump installed which we were waiting for to finish the skid plate up and right here is the skid plate i already got the holes drilled for the clamp to go around the frame rail that drills hole as well got it all marked off here this is where actually where the center of the sump will come through that's the center where the line goes uh, the only hole I didn't get drilled was this one. I had to put it on there and mark it. It is marked already. I just got to get it drilled. So uh, It's actually marked on the other side. I didn't show any of the marking of the holes or anything like that because it is ridiculously windy out today. And the auto quality would have been pretty poor. Oh, and another thing is we're going to do this front here as well. I forgot about doing that. forgot about saying that. Uh, what we're going to do is cut this straight and then put it on at a 45 degree angle. Just like the rest of the skid plate here. And that'll work just fine. So let's set you guys up here and let's finish this up. got everything cut out here now uh this is the plate that'll actually be cut out but it'll go right here i think all i have to drop it down is a half inch so i'm not going to bother doing any 45s i'm just going to do straight angles so let's get this all welded in here and then we'll start working on the front here Tunnel's all welded up now, as you can see here. Still have some touching up to do, but we're gonna let this cool off. I'll we'll come out, grind this down, and then we'll start working on this front here. The front, I'm just going to uh, put it at a 45 degree angle, just like the sides here, we'll just wrap it right around. And the tunnel will actually follow the suit as well. And I decided not to go straight on these. I decided to go on a 45, because it just didn't look right when it was straight. So, adds a little bit more looks to it but like i said we're gonna let this cool off and then we're gonna ground down and start building on the front channel's all ground down now as you guys can see here i'll fix it up once we do the front part the front lip here um while i was doing that i did cut this and grind this all down too so this ear is done now i still have to drill the hole which actually goes right there that's uh that ear has been a pain in the butt since the beginning i keep messing it up but anyhow it is what it is so i'm going to set you guys up here and we'll get this the front piece done here Well, if it's not one thing, it's another. As I was welding, I noticed I was getting a lot of prosody. And prosody, if people don't know what that is. Now, I can't really pick it up on camera, but it's like a bunch of little air pockets in the weld. And I checked the tank, and that there tank is empty now. So, I'm going to have to go get another tank. Or get that one actually exchanged, because that's just a... I actually own the tank, we just exchanged it to get it filled. So... I don't know when that's going to happen. I'm not going to have time today. But here is what the inside of the tunnel looks like. You guys can see that. 
So now the tunnel is going to be completed out through here. I actually just welded this straight across so I know where the straightness is. So like this side isn't pushed back further than this side. I can actually, I'll cut this section out and I'll just run the, the channel, excuse me, I'll run the channel right out around, right up through, and then we'll just cut this out. Um, my other game plan, I think I am going to do it. I'm going to end up cutting this off here and I'm going to run this all the way out. I'm going to actually patch this whole corner. Oops, sorry. I'm going to patch this whole corner in. So this skid plate is actually going to go the whole way around. The only thing that's going to be open is the back. So that is the new game plans for this. But like I said, I'm going to have to take some time, go get that tank filled. And once I get that tank filled, we'll get back at this. Okay, since we don't have mid gas, I decided I'm going to try to take this together. Uh, I got the TIG all set up over here. Got it ready to go. Got the helmet, gloves, and everything. So I'm going to try to take this together. Not exactly sure how this is going to go because I have been practicing, but I have not figured this thing out very well. So maybe you guys get a good laugh out of this, but let's, I'll set you guys up and I'll see if I can take this together. I'm impressed guys, that looks pretty darn good. I'm gonna keep moving. Bring you guys in here for a closer look for all your water guys what do you what do you think am i getting half decent at taking or it still looks like crap it still looks like crap to me but let me know all right now got to figure out the rest of the front plate here if i can get you guys set back up show you what's going on got every hold on welding helmet it's going down okay all right there you can see 
we got that all patched in now got the frontal one like i said that's still going to get tunneled there but there's some of the welds and then i left that hole there so i can show you actually that was actually the whole way along there and i ended up filling got that all filled in and i got a lot of grinding to do but i don't think it's going too bad those are some of the last welds that i did so i'm getting there learning how to do this take slowly so i'm going to keep going at this what i have to do yet is this corner this corner and then do the little bit of tunneling here that i have to do for that inside and out yeah, i don't think i did too terrible bad seeing how this is only like the maybe the third time i picked this tig torch up third or fourth time maybe and uh yeah i only like played with it for like maybe 15 minutes half hour or something you know that's about it it's the longest time i've ever actually uh ran this tig so it's not too bad I wish I did have my MIG, but it is what it is. I needed to learn this anyhow. And you, if you actually can see how this lip is actually higher than that lip, uh, I decided to do that so when the hoses come out at the air dog, it doesn't interfere or anything. I'm just going to take it, this lip here, this little one, that'll get cut on an angle along with that one. So we'll let this cool down. I'll get back with you. We'll get this all ground down. ground off now these corners really turned out good i really liked how they turned out those right there and this one here so everything looks really good as you can see we 
actually this piece was actually a little shorter than this piece so we followed that and then we made this piece of course the same width as this so we dropped this down looks really nice i'm hoping this will also give it more room for the hoses to come out if it needs to uh so and over here is where we're spliced it in right there there's a little bump right here you can feel it but i don't think you're going to notice it once it's all painted and under the truck because uh we plan on priming this and uh, i don't know if i'm going to do uh probably not undercoating but i'll probably put a bed liner on just like a spray can bed liner to hide some of the imperfections that are in the the welds here uh, but as far as i go as far as it goes here it did not go too bad taking from like i said before my third or fourth time ever doing it i think i probably have less than an hour of taking time and well, i know i have less than an hour of take time before i even started this project so didn't go too awful bad i don't think got it done so uh unfortunately i left the spray paint or the spray paint i left the uh, sandpaper and the sander down at my house so we're going to be painting this tomorrow so i will see you guys tomorrow As you guys seen, we got it all sanded. I did clean the shop up somewhat here. I got it hung up. Uh, we're gonna wipe it down and then I'm just going to primer it and paint it with uh, semi-gloss black for right now. And I do plan on stopping in tomorrow on the way home from work. I'm going to get uh, a spray can of, of uh, bed liner to try to hide some of the the divots and stuff like that on just the bottom here but the front the inside we're just going to spray paint and leave it alone because it's again it's gas tank as long as it doesn't rust i don't care so let's get this thing painted Skip plate is now installed. As you can see here, it looks pretty darn good. The hole lined up really nice, as you can see there. Uh, the only thing I had to do was I did have to put spacers on every corner because I didn't accommodate for the muffler clamp with that back piece underneath there where it goes around the bottom of the pipe. So it is what it is. I had to drop it a little bit, but it's okay. Looks good. I get out of here, I'll show you from what it looks like from the outside. And there you can see what it looks like on the outside. Let's zoom out here a little bit. And you can see there's my spacer on that. And there's one back there too, but it looks really nice here. Mounts up really nice. Oh, and you can see the hoses coming out here too. They're nice and loose, not tight. So with that, we're going to wrap this video up. If you liked the video, please think about subscribing, leave a comment down below, and I'll see you guys in the next one.